Hello and welcome to OG Foundation, capital of the sovereign state of Velodium. I am sovereign non Velodium and it is Tuesday morning here. The chickens are all out in the courtyard and the gate to the citadel is open, which is their chicken run. And then there's a coop in uh, the next room. What was used, used to be the small tower is now the coop. And uh, so this week, last week I finished the Citadel project, so now I'm moving on to new projects. So this week the idea is to do uh, reinforcement projects with mortar and steel. And I'm going to do several different ones concurrently. This is the first one. We're going to build a, a reverse arch with rebar and lath here to support the corner of this structure. That's number one. And then number two is over here I'm going to uh, this tire wall is leaning so I'm going to add some more mortar on what I have started to build as stone buttresses to which I'll clear out more so you can see it better but using mortar a couple T posts rocks and just buttressing the inside of this tire wall it's possible I might get into a little bit of capping of tires because uh, the tires are only capped up to there and then these tires are not capped so capping the tires helps keep the moisture out of the tire wall so that there's less effect of the ice in the winter which is the main thing that moves things over time it's all the, the water that ends up moving things through heavy rains or through ice so that's uh, the first two projects Project number three is going to be reinforcing this post here, which is currently getting reinforced by that piece of wood into the tree. So I'm going to build another reverse arch here, going up to the post with rebar and mortar. Um, and then that would be three or four or something. Then the next one is up here. There is... Uh, uh, this wall across here needs a rebar reinforcement for tensile strength. And so I'm going to put that on the inside, I believe. Um, one or two pieces of rebar. And I might bend it to um, cover this area where these vertical cracks is where there's tensile strength pulling it apart. So adding rebar helps to reinforce it. So that's like project four. I added one in the middle there, and it's getting to be so many, I don't know if I have enough rebar, if I have enough, if I can do all this in one week. <laughs> I'm partially making this project list to inspire me to do more work. Um, over here, I have to add something, but it actually looks good from this side. So I'm gonna cut, and I'm gonna walk down there to the garage where the last one is. But basically what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do that last one later. I'm just gonna focus on all those ones on this side for this week, that's plenty of work for one week. Several different uh, projects with steel, and then uh, lots of different mortar batches required. That'll use all of my Portland mortar resources, probably all of my steel, so that's a good target for the week. And I'm going to get started now with just laying out the basic forms for the, the different steel ones. And then I'll give you a shot of those forms before I uh, start getting into the mortar. So, starting at the last one and going in reverse, this one is all prepped. So there's a line of rebar. That first piece is the, uh, the long piece of rebar I scavenged from a job site. And then a second piece of rebar, and then a third piece of rebar. So it'll give this whole thing good tensile strength of holding it together, basically. And these vertical cracks, that force will be distributed by and borne by the, uh, by the rebar instead. So that's the first one, all prepped, but that's not enough area to do a whole mortar batch, so I gotta have more than one going to be able to do a whole batch of mortar. And so I've also prepped the second one, almost all of it. 
So there's one piece of rebar with a really funky bend, and the end of it is bending down to there, which will anchor it down to there, and then it bends up to the top of that post. And then there's lath kind of bent all around, connected with the rebar, and that will create like a little rock fin thing, which should be the structural support for that post. That So I'll be able to take that horizontal thing off and it'll help to tie the rock um, wall at the base together as well, which has a bit of tensile uh, force acting against it because of the hill drops off right on the other side of the, of the fence there. So um, it needs to be held together. So um, next up I'm going to prep for the, uh, the third and fourth projects. After the first batch, got some pretty good coverage. Probably got to come over here and add some water on it because it's really drying so fast in the sun. And I'm about to do a second batch now that it's the end of the day today. So that one's good. At the end, this one had this one had fallen apart and like ruined my efforts. And anyways, I fixed it. So there's project number one. After one batch, project number two, over here, this piece of, over there, that's like anchored in, and it's got a good start on the, the vertical support for this post here, and this one got the most mortar of all, but it's really well, really well anchored in there, and we'll be ready for ready for round two coming up in just a minute and then number three I didn't get any on the uh, on the tire walls there yet there you go. but I did get a start on this one over here which is reinforcing the corner of the bedroom so over here there's a piece of rebar that goes all the way from there and up in here. And then uh, uh, the lath isn't all sort of level yet, but I was able to get mortar on it in the places where it's closest to level to get a good start over here. And you can probably kind of see, I don't know if you can see, the, the cracks in the mortar there, as well as the cracks down here. So, uh, anyways, this support is making it so that that ferro cement roof doesn't, like, fall forward at some point. Which, it's not super likely to do, but it's, like, potentially slowly doing it. So, this uh, big mortar thing here will make it so that it won't be possible. It will support it from falling forward and a little bit from underneath as well. So that's as far as you got in one batch, and I'm going to see about doing a second batch today and get even more coverage. I'm really surprised at how much progress I'm making, how quickly, with these, uh, with these uh, support projects. So after two batches up here, this rebar is pretty well integrated and probably just needs one more batch to get it fully covered on most all of it. This corner here won't be will be a little bit more difficult. I'll probably put some lath in there before uh, do a little prep work before I do the before I do the next batch. But pretty happy with this. It should uh, it should make this uh, much more structurally sound. So after two rounds of mortar and one round of prep, here's how this one looks. So the, you can still see the rebar, but it's pretty well integrated, so it just needs another coat or two of mortar. Did the prep over here to fill that in. And then a little prep over here to um, extend the width of this facade thing. So there's the first one, and then the second one, this post reinforcement over here. It's got some really solid coverage all through here and then connected it so that rebar goes all the way to there or right there and so that connects it with the existing stone structure and then I put the piece of lath all the way up to the top of the post 
and the PVC is straightening it, so I'll get some math on that. And then on the third one, so the third one I added the extra lath. It's, it's got a kind of wavy, slopey effect. And um, this is ready for quite a bit of mortar over here, as well as kind of leveling out that that bit there. Hi, right, little kitty. Hey, kitty. <laughs> And uh, so the lath up here, the rebar ends right there. Lath goes almost to the end of the rebar, and then the rebar ends and bends up here. So the lath extends to there so that this will have very good compression strength going downward and then also not being able to go out so that that structure will be uh, uh, supported, the ferrous cement roof of that structure. Um, so uh, it's starting to get hot. I probably should have started a little bit earlier, but getting on the mortar now. So after one more batch, this has got uh, its shape to it. So you can see how that basically just extends the width of that a little bit right there. And this is all pretty well integrated. Here's with the coat over the first coat over the lath. So that was kind of pinning it up against it. That's, that's still drying and I could get a little bit thrown up in there. This is a bucket. So it's actually hollow. <laughs> um, so this is almost uh, almost done. Same with this one over here. It's extended all the way to the top with uh, two coats now. Looks like a big ear kind of, or a sail. So that one's pretty close to being done. It's just got a couple of rough spots that I'll have to smooth out. Add some more on. But uh, really happy with that. And then the third one. The girls are taking a dirt bath. In that sheet. And it's taking a dirt bath. So this third one, you can see it goes, the lath extends all the way to the, the wall there. So it goes parallel with it. But then it'll also kind of butt up to it on this side as well. So that's kind of the shape of this one so far. And there's a good bit uh, more to add to this to pack it out. Let's do another batch. It started raining, so I decided to do some more prep and decided to do this fourth project. That's the last piece of rebar that I have currently. And this is adjusting the shape of that arch there, and then it'll anchor it down with the stone wall beneath. The crack there um, is pretty wide, so it separated that concrete as that was pushing down more. So this will integrate it all together, and there will be less outward force uh, once it's all once it's all tied in, and significantly strengthen this end of this structure. So I got a first coat on this. The first coat is always the trickiest because you're like getting the getting the metal to stay basically. So a lot of it ended up on the bottom. I'll end up having to bend the rebar a little closer. And there's just a little bit kind of like connecting the lath. So this will take many more coats, but just so you can get an idea of how it uh, how it starts. And look at the visitors, all my friends are here. This is Zara. Hey Zara. You good girl. Alright. You sweetheart. And this is Child's Play the Matriarch. You good girl, she just got an apple. Lucky girl. <laughs> I was gonna say lucky mama, lucky girl. And then it went to lucky grandma girl. <laughs> Almost like a grandma girl. This is Rokate. 
Sometimes he's called Sapphire, but his real name's Rokate. Rokate. It's like Socrates in an anagram. Because his mother is Sapphos and his sister is Sophia. And he's of a similar intellect, unlike Zeus here, who's all brawn. He's all brawn. Hi, Zeus. And who's this? Who's this? Oh, it's Sapphos. Come on, just say hi. Oh, you good girl. You're so sweet. Oh, she's rubbing her butt right up on me. Oh, yeah, she's getting that butt right up in my face. Got itchy butt. Oh, who else we got here? Mr. Independence. He's also called Butch. Because his brother is Sundance. So Butch and Sundance. Oh, Sapphos is back. She says, I wasn't done with my butt scratches. What do you think this is? Then we got, who's this, Treasure over here? Treasure and Odin. How's it going, Odin? Here you go, boy. Odin, and who's coming away? Oh, Sapphos is with us still. And Stardust. Who was that? Hi, Stardust. You good boy. She's, oh, she's a good, that's a spot, that's a spot. Get right there. Yeah, we gotta say hi to everyone, Sapphos. You can't get all the attention, you beautiful girl. And here we have Sally. She's a good girl. And Sophia. Hi, Sophia. And Starbuck. Starbuck fell down a little bit earlier because it was uneven ground and she wasn't used to it, but she's okay. She's okay, you good girl. Oh, don't bite her. That wasn't nice. She said, I'm sick of these guys getting all the attention. But we have to say hi to Strident, she's the last one. Hi Strident. Strident and Starbuck are one year old. Or one and a half. She's getting all fussy. Getting all fussy and getting pushed around. On mid, mid mortar batch. One bucket down, three buckets to go. I gotta get back to it. Woo! Ugh. Horse drama, you gotta watch out, big animals. All right, back to mortar. So something else happened this week. And that is that Praetorian was given as an offering to nature. He had his time as the dominant rooster of the three, the three boys who have now all been claimed by nature the three roosters of the generation that I incubated. They all had a time to be the dominant rooster. And now it's just Arthur and Butterscotch from that generation, as well as Dino the Elder. And then the next generation, I haven't actually counted, I think there's about six. But uh, there's one new baby puff and Praetorian has passed on. So it's Saturday. I've got that one batch done on the other four projects, one of which is now complete. And I am, while that is not ready for extra, extra coats yet, I'm going to get a start on this rock wall project, which is the last one I was trying to get done for this week. So here's how it looks now. I'm gonna clean this up, detail it, and then add some mortar. Sunday, midday, just did a supply trip. Got a whole bunch of Portland, like 13 bags. And then on the way back, uh, gathered up some stuff. Must have some good karma. Got all sorts of stuff. Got three gas engines, all of this for free off the side of the road. There's a generator. There's a power washer, and there's a water pump. Um, there's this whole nice, it's like a tile table, and then another kind of table thing with a wine rack and a back on it. There's welding stuff and lights and electric things and a big mirror, a 50-gallon thing, like... 
must be probably like $500 worth of stuff easily that I got for free. Plus uh, all the other good materials, so time to secure it all. Here's this area after just one batch. This kind of, uh, wasn't even really a full batch, but just covering up some of the lower tires and filling in the, the gap there so that the upper tires don't have room to fall. And I've reinforced that left buttress a good bit. This is, this one is a much like more sturdy shape. This one is kind of not as much so, but as long as I reinforce the middle there, it'll be good. Um, yeah, it's funky weather. I don't know if I can get any more mortar done today. I'm out in search of Praetorian. I got a proof of life that he has survived and he's moved to a new place. Well, I'm coming to find him and give him an offering if I can. I'll let you know if I find him. Well, I couldn't find Praetorian, so I looked for him and I brought him an offering and then realized that I left water on the stove to boil to do dishes. So now I gotta hurry back. So it's Monday afternoon. And here's how far the original project number one has gotten. It's pretty solid at this point, but I want to get it quite a bit wider there in the middle <clears throat> to really be supportive. And then probably add a little bit more on the outside, though it's got now mortar floor to ceiling with the first batch. So the second one will really reinforce that vertical wall as well. So, it's, uh, it's funky weather, but I'm going to try to get a second batch done today. But this will probably be the last update as far as this week um, for these projects. So, this one just got the, I think just had the one batch so far, but the next batch will be mostly on this wall here. So, maybe I'll be able to get another, um, another shot of how that goes. Uh, the, the rock fan over here is finished so the base there sheds water it's all integrated and it has it's all finished so it's got uh it's like perfect shape to not be in your way as far as the staircase going up and around and then while also like so it like curves out of your way but then it also gives the the lateral support of like that triangle to support that whole post and then that triangle being anchored with rebar all the way over to here so that the post has nowhere to go even if the whole hill drops out underneath of it that post is going to stay there from that and help to stabilize the other post you can see that one post is leaning in and it has that support because where i put these posts on in it's like right at the edge of the hill and the hill is like eroding so there, it's more of a the wooden post s section is kind of more temporary, whereas the tires and mortar stuff is a lot more permanent. But I'm also facing some similar things with this structure here, as far as the ground moving. Um, but that'll be a project for another time. And then over here, this is one of the uh, that table that I got off the side of the road. It's pretty nice. And up here is all done. I just got um, finished um, on that little facade piece. And then this is all done and integrated with stone. So this one is also complete. So two of the projects are complete. Two of the projects are in process. But then there's the other one. So I ended up doing five. So now I'll cut and then uh, show you how the one in the garage is looking. Oh yeah, and by the way, so all the wood on the right, all the wood on the left was left over from last year. All the wood on the right was just harvested this year. So that was like three, three truckloads um, of my vehicle. So the wood harvesting is in process. Um, but this project here, it now has three batches on it. The rebar, 
So the bottom, this metal piece here is pushing the bottom of the rebar head against the wall so it can get mortared in. So that rebar is basically mortared in all the way up to there. I just haven't been able to get the very top yet. But honestly, the top, like once that's all connected, um, it'll structurally be achieving what I intend it to do, which is being able to distribute that weight all the way down to this rock wall section as opposed to um, pushing out. So this is solid all the way up to here, basically. And then I've got a, it's just kind of on the surface for this part. So I still have to fill all that in to make all that solid. And then I'll use uh, um, so I porcupine that corner and then also putting like rocks in there to help fill in the space. So this is going to be a real um, serious structural um, support for this. And then that's all for for the projects. I'm just going to give you one shot of the little baby chick, uh, Coco and Puff, and that's all for this week. Here's Coco and Puff. They went good. Hey, Puff. How's it going? Somebody's going to attack. Get out of here. Baby. All right, thanks for tuning in. See you next week.